Deep in the heartland of the Badlands lay Clan Helheim, who they thought were safe within the hills of the mountains. But little did Gilbert Helheim know that there was a green tide bearing its fangs. Wurzag the Great Green Prophet had seen the mines held by Clan Helheim, and he had sought to make it his own. Taking upon himself to reclaim those dwarfen holds, and to turn them against the clan that had once held it. With him, his savage orcs did advance, looking to be the biggest and the strongest. Surging across the battlefield, the Boar Boys gallantly led the charge, scouting out what lay ahead, as we see with the Boar Boys on the left flank. Gilbert Helhein had shuffled his troops trying to make a desperate defense, but Wurzag's green tide came rushing forward. He had many slayers, longbeards, ironbreakers, and even dwarfen warriors looking to hold their own against the savage horde. But no matter how hard they tried, they knew that this would be a life or death sentence for their clan. With that in mind, they shuffled again their line, heading east as the green tide came rounding round the bend. Using a two-pronged attack, the boar boys and the savage orcs pushed forwards on the dwarfen line. Coming out of its hidden position, the savage biggins hit the slayers in their flank so that the savage orc boys could bear down upon them, led by Sly the savage goblin. They devoured the Slayer unit, quickly, and the Savage Orc Error Boys took their aim upon the ranged units of the Dwarfs. The Stunties stood no chance as Wurzag unleashed his magical powers. On the right flank we saw the clump of Savage Boys pushing gallantly looking to devour and savagely destroy everything in their path. The boys were unstoppable, pushing forward against the warriors, the slayers, and the miners. With Combined with the goblin archery, the savage boys kept pushing forwards. Though some of their units broke, Wurzag stood undeterred. Using his magical explosion, to weaken the miners' ranks as the orc errors rage down from above. Beating the left flank, the savage boys and Sly, the night goblin shaman, pushed forward from the left as Wurzag dealt with Gilbert Helhein one on one, proving him to be the biggest and the strongest, using his magical abilities as the great shaman gave chase. The two-pronged attack pushed forwards as planned. The great clump pushing as it could against the dwarf and male. The left flank breaking as the savage orc boy boys broke through and rammed straight into the grudge thrower. The warriors rallied and the Longbeards and the Lord looked for a desperate last stand attempt. Wurzag slaughtered those left in front of him, diving headlong into a line of quarrelers, distracting them from his boys. With the Boar Boys in the back rank, it was wreaking havoc upon the ranged weaponry of the Dwarfs. The Stunties stood no chance against Wurzag, the Great Green Prophet, and his Tide. The Warriors rallied, and the magic flowing, the boys pushed forwards. Wurzag again met Gilbert Halhein one-on-one. Where they exchanged blows in front of Gilbert's own boys. The Stunties, seeing his trouble, began to pull back, but it was too late. They were now encircled, having their left flank fully engulfed as the Boar Boys continued to wreak havoc on their back line. Wurzag continued to exchange blows, 
Undeterred as Gilbert made damage upon him, his mighty axe wailing on the stunty when the power of the wall was unleashed. And they pushed forwards. Though the right flank held hard, the boar boys finally hit them in the rear. And the boar boys and the savage orcs smashed together to engulf what was left of the right flank. The left flank meeting a similar flank as the boar boys and the savage boys engulfed them entirely, led by Sly. A unit of savage boar orc boar Biggins had joined Wurzag in his onslaught against Gilbert, and Gilbert stood no chance, wavering in the onslaught of the Green Tide. Green Tide was undeniable, and Gilbert broke. With the Lord broken, the rest of the stunties followed suit, and the Green Tide surged forwards, looking to slaughter everything with a beard and to take Dragonhorn Mines as their own. The mines would be used for the Green Tide's purpose, for the line of Helheim ends here with poor Gilbert. Wurzak continued his pursuit as his boys slaughtered every stunty about them. Raining blows on his back, Gilbert could not withstand much more of this, and Wurzag, the great green prophet, used his magic one last time and delivered the killing blow. With this, the dragon horn mines were the bloody hands. Wah! 